I'm Zach Forey, Pioneer Field Agronomist. We're out in a cornfield. Corn is just starting to emerge right now. And we're gonna come out here, we're gonna do a little bit of stand assessment. Uh, this is a really, really important time of the year. When we look at crops that are just coming up, uh, this corn right now is about two inches tall. And uh, recognize that most of the things that we have control over, uh, we've already done. And so this is a really important time, not just to evaluate stand, but to look back at our tillage operations and everything we did up until this point and assess uh, how successful that was. And the main thing is to see if there are things that we would do different in the future. So when it comes to stand establishment and corn, and we're coming out to evaluate stands, there, there are three really important things that we're looking for. Uh, number one is we're looking for plant population. Did we get the number of plants that we wanted. That's usually the most important part about stand establishment. The number two thing that we're going to look at is uniformity of emergence. Are the plants about the same size? If plants aren't the same size, there's usually some competition and some yield loss that are associated with that. And the third thing is plant spacing. Uh, it's more important that we have the right number of plants out there than that they're all spaced perfectly but in a, in a perfect world, that's what we're striving for. We're striving for um, the population that we plan to get out there. We want them to come up all uniformly and we want them to be spaced uniformly in the field. So when we come out to do our stand evaluation, there are gonna be a few tools that we'll wanna have with us. We're gonna to wanna to have a tape measure, it can help us measure spacing and we can do plant population counts. And the other thing that is absolutely essential is we want some kind of a trowel or small shovel that we can use to dig plants up to assess planting depth and to uh, assess uh, if, if plants are not uh, coming up uniformly or if there are seeds that didn't come up at all, what might be going on there. So we're gonna go out and look at some, some of the, the plants in the row here. Um, put my tape down. And we can see that, uh, for example here, we've got a number of plants that are that are here and they look pretty uniform in the row. But then we've got a gap right here. So this is kind of a key opportunity for us to go and, and see, well, what, what happened here? Why didn't, uh, why didn't we get a plant here? So we can do some digging and we can find a seed. So right here, about the right spacing for this seed, this is the plant that we're finding. So corkscrewed coleoptile. Um, this is kind of a, a, a key symptom a common symptom of a couple of different things. It could be crusting. In this case, don't really see any crusting. Don't expect there would be any crusting. Something like this may more likely be cold chilling injury, where some of those cells of that coleoptile get ruptured uh, in the germination and emergence process, and then you get that corkscrewed growth of the coleoptile. Um, another thing that we can do here is we can dig up established plants, and we can look at planting depth. Okay, so here we can, we can look at where our seed is versus where the uh, coleoptile emerged from, and we can look at planting depth. And in this particular case, our planting depth is about an inch and a half, which is a little bit shallow. We would have preferred this to be about two inches. Because of the anatomy of corn, this node right here is where our entire root ball is going to come from. And Therefore, we want to make sure that we get that node deep enough in the soil. And the right place to have that node is when we plant about two inches deep. Okay, here we've got some rows that, this is really what we're looking for, for a good stand. We look down at these rows, we have very uniform spacing. We have uniform emergence and the plants are all about the same size. That's exactly what we want to achieve in, uh, in getting a good stand of, of corn. If we want to contrast that, if we go over here, we get into some areas that have significantly higher residue. And one of the really difficult issues we deal with in getting good corn stand establishment in some fields is how do we deal with the, the high amount of residue that might be there. In this field, we have some residue. This uh, we can see in some fields a lot more than this also, but already in this case, we can see if we move over here, we get some areas where we've got really uniform spacing and uniform emergence. And then we've got some plants that, that are delayed in emergence. And so we want to ask the question of what caused this and is it something that we can prevent in the future? Is there something about planting depth? 
is there something about residue management? So in this case, we can see almost immediately that the, the problem here was this particular kernel was too shallow. And so this is a problem in planting depth, and this one didn't germinate quite as early as the ones next to it did. That's a preventable issue. That's a controllable issue. And that's really what we want to point out, uh, what we want to identify as we're doing this field evaluation is how successful were we, what worked well, what didn't work well, and what can we do to improve for the future. A lot of times when you find a plant that maybe didn't uniform as uh, uh, germinate and emerge as uniformly, like this one, and you dig it up, a lot of times what you're going to find is that the planting depth was different. It might be shallower, it might be deeper, and those are the kinds of things that we want to observe. And then we want to say, well, what can we do about this in the future? Was our planter set right? Do we have the right equipment? Are our openers too warm? Do we have enough depth control? Uh, and another thing that's really important is residue managers. Are our residue managers working properly? Are they kicking the residue out of the furrow? Uh, are they trenching? Sometimes when they're trenching, then we can get soil washed back in there and they can get too deep. So that's another important thing to evaluate is how good of a job are my residue managers doing. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.